So this is the last video in the arena series and today I will be showing you guys how we can solve use after free bucks in arenas using Azan or address sanitizer. Now a quick recap for any of you guys who aren't up, up to date with the series. An arena is a simple linear allocator. So what is the linear allocator? Well what we do is we allocate a buffer of memory for example let's say 10 kilobytes and then we just give it an offset right so let's say this offset will be zero and this offset just keeps track of how far inside of this buffer we are and whenever we want to allocate memory on this arena for example so here i just got called to set up this arena i just run the arena alloc function and give it the number of bytes i want to increment the offset by and let's say in this case i want to allocate an integer integer is four bytes for 32 bit integer and just move the arena forward four bytes and then return a pointer to the original position the arena was or rather the offset was so let's say I, that's the variable a then i can make another variable called b and you know i increment another four bytes so we get eight bytes now i we still be in there now we can also free memory in the arena by using the arena reset pointer method so this just resets the arena by moving the offset back to zero and that effectively clears the arena out because any new any new um, allocations will be happening from the start of the arena again and we just overwrite that data with zeros and never return it to the user right because the memory will be cleaned out now one of the main benefits of arenas is that it forces us to organize our code in terms of lifetimes so instead of having to think about individual objects being allocated and deallocated so for example using malloc and dealloc or new or delete if you're using c++ we can just think about we can have multiple mallocs into the same buffer and since we have access to that underlying buffer where the allocations are we can just run reset or just free the actual buffer we know all of our allocations have been freed now another useful property of arenas is that we have the arena reset functionality so we don't really have double free bugs with arenas because if i just reset the pointer twice which is effectively freeing the memory in the arena then it won't do anything because the, the offset's already zero so just set it to zero again won't change anything and there is one specific type of bug which we do have inside of arenas which are used after free bugs so let me show you guys how that would look like so here i've just created a print statement so i'm printing out the variable a after i have reset the arena now this is actually a use after free bug so what do i mean by use after free Whenever we free some memory, let's say we allocate the memory using malloc, then we free it with um, free, right? It's undefined behavior to access that variable again. In the arena, it's a bit different since we know what the underlying buffer is. We know that A was allocated on there and then we reset the pointer. Now we're trying to access A again. Technically, this should not be allowed because let's say I allocated some more memory on the arena after the reset. Now, whether A is pointing to, I can't guarantee it's an integer. It might be a float, it might be a string, it might be anything. And that can cause crashes and unexpected behavior in our program. Now, you may be asking, okay, how can I solve this problem, right? Because it seems like a big issue having these dangling pointers everywhere. And then I might accidentally use it if it's still in scope after resetting the arena. Well, there's an extremely useful tool called Azan Address Sanitizer. And what Azan is, is essentially a runtime which we bundle with our C program and it can detect a lot of memory corruption bugs. For example, double freeze, use after freeze. Um, let's say we've got a memory leak, we didn't freeze some memory. It can detect all of this stuff. However, for the arena specifically, we have to use the Azan API to tell it which parts of the arena are invalid. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that in just a second. So let's just change up the code a little bit. Let's say I've got three variables, A, B, and that third one should not be B, it should have been a C, that's a little mistake I made. So let's say we have A, B, and C, and three integers, so we just increment it, and that should also be 12, not eight. That's the two little mistakes. So we've got these three variables onto the arena, and let's say I run arena reset pointer. Now, if we're using this Azan approach, well, usually when we do a reset pointer, we expect the pointer to go back to zero, and then we can continue allocating from the start of the arena. If we're using Azan, what we can tell Azan is, okay, from the start of the arena, or the start of the buffer the arena is holding, up to the current offset, mark all of that memory as 
poisoned. What that means is that Azan knows this memory should not be accessed at runtime. If you try to access this memory at runtime, it will throw an exception and tell us, hey, you're not allowed to do that. So now if we try to do something like printf and we try to print out A and then try to dereference it, right? What would end up happening is if we, we would try to access the data at A, which is not technically freed. But since Azan has so marked that memory as poisoned, Azan will catch it for us and tell us, hey, using this memory after it's been poisoned. It's a use after free bug. And what we can actually do is all the new memory we allocate after reset pointer will be continuing. To, we can still use the arena because it'll just continue off from that current offset instead of resetting it. Now, this is, of course, a thing that we do at, as a, in a de, uh, in a debug build because we're not, whenever we don't, whenever we want arena reset pointer, we're not actually freeing any memory in the arena. We're just marking that memory as poison so Azan can use it to catch bugs. However, when we're doing a release build, we, we then want to get rid of this Azan functionality and then start resetting the pointer back to zero because it's going to cause performance problems because we're never actually resetting and freeing the memory. Now, I'll show you guys how we can use Azan. So on the Azan documentation for MSVC's compiler, so Microsoft compiler, they have this quick little intro, which is manual address poisoning interface. So inside of this specific header file, sanitizer azan interface h, we have these two functions, right? Which is azan poison memory region and azan unpoisoned memory region. And we just pass in an address and the number of bytes which you want to poison or how large that buffer should be. So we also have these two nice macros we can use, which I'm going to use instead, which is azan poison memory region and azan unpoisoned memory region. And we just, these basically just fall into these functions for us. So I'll show you guys how we can use that with our current dynamic arena implementation. So here I've got the code from the last episode in the arena series, not the last one, specifically the episode on how we can create dynamic arenas using multiple pages, rather freeing pages and allocating pages dynamically. So in this little example right here, I just allocated the variable A, then I reset the pointer, then I allocate a variable other, and then, or there's two strings, and then I just copy other string into other, and then a string into string into a. So then if I print it out, so we get a string as the first one, and then we get other string as a second string, right? Okay, that's great. So let's say I do something like, instead of allocating other onto the arena first, I try allocating an int, right? Let's call this b. Then I'll print out arena, right? Size of int, int. Right, so here we have an int pointer b. So remember, so far in the arena, we've taken up four bytes for this integer and then 20 bytes for this other variable, right? So in total, our current offset should be 24 bytes. So if I just quickly print that out, I can do something like printf. Right, if we print out the current offset. Okay, there we go. So it's 24, right? Now, if I quickly just remove this, then let's say I try to print out the variable a right now. So I'll do s a. I'll print this out right here. I say other. I print this out right here. Now, technically, after we run arena reset pointer, we should not actually access a because a is technically the memory it's previously was own link has been freed because we reset the arena. But if you run the program, you'll see other and a po both point to other thing because remember, a is just pointing to the start of the arena because it's the first allocation we made previously before we reset it. However, let's say I allocate B first. So what I've done here now is that the first four bytes, so remember A is pointing to the start of the arena still after it's been reset. The first four bytes have been dedicated to an integer and then the last, then the other 20 bytes after the four bytes have been given to other because you allocated memory there. So if I run it now, you can see A prints out nothing. So in this case, it's been pretty nice because we just stored A as an integer 
However, if it was a sort of no pointer or some other piece of memory and we're using it somewhere else, then we could have some undefined behavior that's a really tricky bug to kind of debug. Now, how can we use Azand to help us catch these kinds of bugs, right? How can we do that? Well, we first have to include Azand Sanitizer interface. So we do sanitizer slash, if I quickly find it, Azand interface. Put a H. Right, so if you quickly just import that, that's working great. What we have to do is let's say go down to the arena room set. Let's go to this function. So right here what we're doing is just resetting the arena's current offset to zero. I'm gonna comment out this line. I'm gonna replace it with another line. So I'll say Azan Okay, Azan Poison Memory Region, right? So there's this macro right here. We pass in the address and the size. Now what's the address and size? The address is going to be the buffer, the underlying buffer the arena is attached to, and the size will be the current offset of the buffer. So instead of resetting the offset back to zero, whenever we want arena reset pointer, we're just saying, okay, keep the offset where it is, but all the memory before the offset, mark it as poisoned. And what that does is, all the new allocations we do, so for example here, we allocated A, then we did arena reset pointer. So the first, A is 20 bytes, right? So the first 20 bytes of the arena have been marked as poisoned for Azan after we run arena reset pointer. And then B and other, these two variables right here, or these two variables, they're just continuing on from where the buffer left off. So from 20 is going to be continuing, so it could be 24, then... 24 plus 20 means 44, right? So we're going to get 44 bytes in total. It's because we're not resetting the pointer after here. So if I print out the current size of the arena, you get 44 because we're not ever actually resetting the pointer, rather resetting the offset in that function. So let's say I print out other and then I have B there as well, right? So let's say I do B is equal to 200, and then I just print out B as well, right? If I do that, everything works fine, right? Let's say I try to access A, which should be invalid, right? Because A is now technically memory it was previously pointed to has been freed. So if I run A now, you can see we get this very big error. And what's happening here? address sanitizer use after poison on address blah 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 so what's basically happened is the memory a was pointing to when we run in a reset pointer we just poisoned all that memory so azan is not aware of that memory and knows that we should not be able to access it so when we try to access a right here on this line after we poisoned it azan caught that access and said hey you told me we should not be able to access the memory anymore. Why are you accessing it? It's probably a bug in your code. So we can basically get this whole stack trace of what's happening. And it should, if I zoom out a little bit, so I can actually read it. It should tell us where inside of our code it happened. Right here, right. So you see this. So on line 131 in our code, it triggered this exception right here. So Azan basically told us, hey, you can't use this memory anymore. It's been given to me, you poisoned it, you can't use it anymore. So that's a really cool technique which we can use. Now, let's say that, now how can we actually handle this? Because we want this to be for debug builds only, right? Because when we are actually shipping to production, we want to reset the pointer when we actually say reset the pointer. Otherwise, we'll continuously just keep on allocating memory in the arena. So what we can do is let's say if def debug, and then we print out else and if so then in this build.bat we can do something here like I don't know when we are allocate let's say we do dash D debug right here so it's basically saying is telling the compiler define this preprocessor variable for us it's preprocessor -pre flag so we do we run it right now so actually no, if I do, if I don't define it right now, 
So when I don't define it, Azan will not be triggered because it's going to reset the current offset. This is for a release build. However, if you want to actually use our debug build, you can just do dash D debug and then Azan will catch it for us. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you've got any questions about Azan or how we can, or this code or how it works, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Of course, as always, the code will be in the description below on the GitHub repo. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.